Okay, so here is the, um, so here's the assignment. It is the, uh, so it's the Word document in the instructions link on Blackboard. Essentially what we're gonna do here is, I'll, I'll go over the, um, the workbook in a second. Essentially what you're gonna do is right under the link where the instructions are, there's the data sheet. And the data sheet is not gonna have these charts in it, all right? Um, and I'll come back to that in a second. Your assignment is to create these charts. All right, so you're gonna create a chart on the first tab of the workbook, and I'll, again, I'll show you this, um, called a combo chart. You'll create these three charts on the bar and columns chart of the workbook. You'll create this line chart with two, so you've got two data sets here, a Google data set and an uh, Amazon data set, and it's essentially the chart of their stock prices over that fictitious period of time. I don't, I think that's data. It's actually correct. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and again, I'll go over this and show you how to do it. So that's on your line charts. Then on your pie charts, you're going to have, you're going to create a pie chart. Now, I don't believe I'm going to have you do the stock chart. It may be in there. If you want to do it, you certainly can, but you don't have to do it. You're only responsible for four, four tabs. It's going to be the combo chart, these three bars, that line, and that pie chart. Okay, so those are the ones that you're gonna create. So this is the instructions. This is what it's gotta look like. I'll show you what the, I'll show you what the data file looks like. Okay, so this is essentially, this is essentially right here. This is essentially what you're gonna download. Okay, so here's your combo, your bar, your line, and your pie. Okay, so there's no, there's no the data's raw right now, you're gonna create the charts for it. Okay, so that's what you're gonna download. That is in the, um, that's in the, in the second link, the data instructions link. All right, so that is that is the data visualization uh, data file. All right, so it's going to say assignment number six data file data visualization through charting. All right, how do we do those? Look, well, here we go. Let's take a look. Here is how we're actually going to do them. All right, so everybody can see my screen here. All right. This is, the, this is the assignment, this is what you'll hand in. You'll hand in, I'm giving you the data sheet with nothing on it, you're gonna create these charts. And we're gonna go over how we actually create them. And again, this is more of a, you getting your, your feet wet and getting a little bit of an introduction about how we go about doing it and getting a feel for how easy it is to do in Excel, all right? So in this chart right here, we're looking at two data categories. We're looking at a total spend category and we're looking at a dollars per click category, all right? So in the raw data, what is that? Well, very simply, it is by month, January through December, the total spend category is a bar chart, and the line is the click, dollars per click. So you're essentially gonna go through, highlight your month, control click and highlight your total spend, control click and highlight the dollars per click, all right? And then insert, so you're gonna click on, just go through the example here, we're gonna click on insert a, well, um, Excel will have the, recommended chart because you're gonna, when you click on multiple categories of data, the total spend and click on month, Excel's gonna say, you know what, you wanna do two things on one chart. Well, that's gonna be, I'm gonna recommend that you use a combo chart. All right, so Excel will recommend that for you. It's also this combo chart down here. 
All right, so it's the combo. The total spend is in the clustered column and the dollars per click is in the line. All right, so notice here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna right click on change chart type. Notice that the, the dollars per click, which is the line, has this secondary axis check. That's what gives us this over here. Why? Because the total spend number is way bigger than the dollars per click number. And if we were to not do that, it would look something like this and you wouldn't even be able to see the dollars per click number. Okay, so it makes total sense to be able to see that in a different column, in a different um, axis. So we got doll, uh, 20 cents, 40 cents, dollar, uh, up to 180, dollar 80 per click across all of these total spends. So the spends, total spends over here and the total clicks over here. All right. When, because uh, I'm going to, I'm recording this now and you'll get, you'll get to, I'll post it out there and you'll, be able to go through it and, and get it yourself. All right, but again, this is more of a more of an exercise than it is uh, a test to see, because I know um, our not and everybody has Excel background, and these are such great tools to use, and they're and they're really such good um, examples how to visualize data that it makes sense uh, to get you up to speed quickly on. All right, so there's our combo chart. Here's our bar charts. Very simply, this is total sales by genre. So here's our genre category over here in the left, column A, and our total sales column over here in column N. If I were to click on that chart, very simply, we're gonna highlight the genre category in our control click, highlight our total category, click on insert, Click on recommended charts. So again, um, Excel's pretty good about it. And in this example, I want you to do the third chart here, which is the um, the, the, the chart um, um, uh, genre is up the so so the genre is up the vertical axis, not on the horizontal axis. If you chose this category right here, the genre would be on the on the horizontal axis, I want it on the vertical axis. All right, so there's that one. The total sales by month, pretty simple. Here's our total sales category, and here's our months. So we highlight our total sales. We control click, highlight our total sales, click on recommended charts. There's our recommended chart. Okay, that simple. Okay, again, highlight month, control click, highlight our total sales, recommended chart. You're gonna choose that second one, which is this right here. Cross all of the months, and then you're gonna go in and create your title. Okay, very simple. You're gonna click on the chart title, change it. Total sales by month, and that's it. It's that easy to create that. Then finally, our monthly sales by genre and month. Okay, this one's a little bit more involved because we've got all of the genre categories. So if I click on each one of these, you'll see that it, it highlights the data that it is part of. So this one is gonna be a multiple click event. So we're gonna do month, and we're gonna do um, category, so uh, total sales, so we're gonna highlight all of this data across here. So you literally could highlight the entire category and click insert and recommended charts. All right, so that one is as simple as that. So I'll just click on the whole chart again. So it's the entire chart for month. 
by month for all the genres. Excel is really good about knowing how to break that data out. So notice how I just highlighted all of this data. Click on recommended charts, and there it is. That's the one you're creating. Simple as that. So it's a 100% stacked column chart. 100% meaning it did the entire total, showed me how each of these pieces makes up the whole for January, how each of these pieces makes up the whole for February, each of these pieces makes up the whole for March, et cetera, et cetera. So in a quick visual, you can see what pieces made up the whole across that entire 12 month period. All right, not too bad. Click on our line chart. Well, cool. This is a line chart with two data sets on it. One is Google and one is Amazon, closing uh, stock prices. Um, looks like from June through uh, December 2015. All right. Very simply, click on line chart. Very easy. So by date, Google. So if I click by date, highlight all of this text, all of that data, come back up here, click on insert, recommended charts, voila, looks like Excel picked a line chart, perfect. Okay, a couple of ways we could do this one, we could go back and create it one at a time or we could control click and highlight Google and come back and click on recommended charts. Voila, there we go. So what's this first chart that Amazon comes up with or that Excel comes up with, Google versus Amazon? Very simple. So now the only difference here is this dotted line is the trend line. So if I were to right click, click on add trend line, there's the trend line. Now I've already got a trend line there, so just dropped another one in there. Um, for, so I'm gonna undo that. So for, so for, let's see, for Amazon, the trend line's a polygon trend line. All right, so let's go click on, in this case, I could just do that format. And uh, there we go, line, that's the automatic line. Now let's, let's do this. Let's do, add the trend line so you know how to do it. And then for the um, Amazon, it's a poly, polygon or a poly, polynomial trend line. Okay, so for Amazon, it's polynomial. And in this case, all right, so a polynomial for Amazon. And then again, I have double here. And then for Google, it's linear. So when you do the same thing and clicking on your Google line and you add your trend line, you're gonna make that one linear. All right, simple as that. Very easy to create these charts. They're very powerful. They give you some great data visualization and they're super widely used. I don't want all those trend lines, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Oops, let's go forward with that. All right, go back to Google and Amazon with a linear trend line on Google and a polynomial trend line on Amazon. Pie charts, last one. So pie charts, very simple. We are creating the cost. So we want to have a pie chart of the cost of these different categories of sales. So quite simply, if I click on the chart, it's the category of product line and it's cost, very simple. So if I just highlight the two category and cost, click on recommended charts, there's my cost pie chart, very simple. Inside my chart, 
I do a right click. So I click on my inside of my chart. I right click. I add data labels. And in this case, my data labels are dollars. I want to change them to percent. So I'm going to change my, or I'm going to format my data labels. And I am going to make my data labels, whoops, make my data labels, where'd my data labels go? Undo my data labels. I deleted them. Add data labels. And I want to make my data labels now percentages, not dollars. Very simply, change my data label. to percentage, not value. Come down to the bottom, just like we were showing on the leather wine example. Uh, that's actually, that's good. All right, very simply, percentages, data labels perfect. Got my, um, my default template, which is the um, legend at the bottom. Perfect, good, close it out, done. Simple as that. Okay, the only difference here, this chart's a little bigger, no big deal. Um, experiment with it. I mean, it's just the way it is now is perfect. Um, you can bold those if you want. Come up here and bold them. All right. Um, if you want to play with it and, and make some additional um, enhancements to it, you can make it 3D if you want. All sorts of different options you could make of it. All right, it's up to you if you want to do that. I'd rather you keep it keep it very simple. All right, so that's it. That's how we create it. So you'll get your your data with none of these charts on it. And after lecture, when this video is up, posted, you'll be able to go through and create your own charts. The assignment is due on the 28th of April by 11.59. So you got a week to work on it. It's very easy, very simple. Um, but good to know and very important to be able to do these kinds of visualizations in your data, especially if you're going to do any, um, any data for your, for your final project. All right. And I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this section. All right, some basic charting. Um, again, thinking about what is the best chart or graphic for your data. Excel has a variety of them. So just understanding what kind of chart you want to create, what data you want to show on it, picking the right visual for the, the, um, for the message you want to send to your, to your, to your reader. And then, and then allowing it and then customizing it if you need to. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward, really useful stuff. Um, due, this one is due on the, on the 28th. That'll be the last of your assignments. And let's go to the bottom. That'll be the last of your assignments. Be due next week. Next week's class, I'm actually going to go over the topics that are going to be on uh, exam two. And essentially, exam two is just going to be the material that we've talked about since the first exam, which is, was all on, on data literacy or on information literacy. This is all about data. All right. So there'll be some questions on charting in that. And again, I'll go over it more next week. Um, that is pretty much what I wanted to cover tonight. Let me go back. And then for next week, I'll go over, I'll go over it. I'll talk about exam two. And then the following week, it's essentially going to be our last class, which will be May 5th. Um, I'll be on Zoom. I'll have a Zoom uh, for that. Uh, there'll be no new material. It'll just be kind of a, if you've got questions that you need to have answered on, on your, on your final project, 
everyone should be pretty close to getting that wrapped up, I would think. It's due May 12th. Um, not that far away. So essentially uh, one, two, three weeks. So you got three weeks to get that wrapped up. And that'll take us to the end of our data analysis, data visualization. If you have any questions on, um, on any of this material, um, or while you're, while you're creating it, do the ask a question, that way others will benefit as well from the answer. This recorded lecture will be posted about half an hour, an hour after lecture ends. Takes time for um, Zoom to convert it and takes time for YouTube to process it. Be another YouTube link out there. So with that, uh, we will wrap up for tonight and we will continue on next week. Be looking out for my email with the next Zoom link for next week. Have a good one, everybody, and we'll talk again next week.